welcome back i hope that you all are fine today i have come here along with a new video tutorial on standard integrals and their proof the first standard integral is integration dx whole divided by a squared plus x square equals 1 divided by a tan inverse x by a plus c substituting x is equal to a tan theta dx equals a sec square theta d theta and theta equals tan inverse x by a we get integration a sec square theta d theta whole divided by a square plus a square tan square theta here if we take a square is common from the denominator of the of this expression then 1 plus 10 square theta can be written as sec square theta and this sec square theta and the sec square theta uh, of the numerator will be cancelled each other then the remaining d theta i put here that means ultimately after calculation we get 1 by a integration d theta but the integral of d theta is theta now substituting theta by tan inverse x by a it becomes 1 by a tan inverse x by a plus c that means integration dx whole divided by a square plus x square equals 1 by a tan inverse x by a plus c where c is the integral constant we also can write a corollary from this standard integral that integration dx whole divided by 1 plus x square equals 10 inverse x plus c where c is the integral constant the second integral is here integration dx whole divided by a square minus x square equals 1 divided by 2a ln of a plus x whole divided by a minus x plus c where a is more than x and c is the integral constant here 1 by a square minus x square can be written as 1 divided by a plus x into a minus x but doing partial fraction we get 1 divided by 2a into 1 divided by a plus x plus 1 divided by a minus x now using the integration sign with the both terms we get 1 divided by 2a integration dx whole divided by a plus x plus integration dx whole divided by a minus x again these two integral can be written as ln of a plus x and minus ln of a minus x plus c is the plus c where c is the integral constant again using the formula of ln we get 1 divided by 2 a ln of a plus x whole divided by a minus x plus c in the third integral we get integration dx whole divided by x square minus a square equals 1 divided by 2a ln of x minus a whole divided by x plus c plus c where c is the integral constant and x is more than a similarly using the formula for a square minus b square equals a plus b into minus b and doing partial fraction we can solve this integral and ultimately we will get 1 divided by 2a ln of x minus a divided by x plus a plus c the fourth integral is integration of dx whole divided by square root of a square minus x square equals sine inverse x by a plus c now we substitute x equals a sine theta dx is equal to a cos theta d theta and theta equals sine inverse x by a we get given integral equals integration a cos theta d theta whole divided by square root of a square minus a square sine square theta if i take a square as a common from the denominator 
then we'll get 1 a square into 1 minus sine square theta this 1 minus sine square theta can be written as cos square theta again the square root of cos square theta is cos theta and this cos theta and the cos theta of numerator will be cancelled and the remaining of x the remaining differential is d theta i put here and the integral of d theta is theta and c is here integral constant again we substitute theta by sine inverse x by a then we get integration dx whole divided by square root of a square minus x square equals sine inverse x by a plus c where c is the integral constant from this standard integral we also can write a corollary that integration dx whole divided by 1 minus x square equals sine inverse x plus c in the fifth integral we'll find that integration dx whole divided by square root of x square minus a square and this can be written as log of absolute value of x plus square root of x square minus a square plus c where c is the integral constant dear audience here i substitute x plus square root of x square minus a square equal z then it can be written as 1 plus 2x whole divided by 2 square root of x square minus a square dx equals dz and after calculation we get square root of x square minus a square plus x whole divided by square root of x square minus a square dx equals dz and ultimately we get dx whole divided by square root of of x square minus a square equals dz by z substituting these in the given integral we get integration dx square root of x square minus a square equals integration dz by z and this can be written as ln of z plus c where c is the integral constant and putting z equals x plus square root of x square minus a square we get ln of x plus square root of x square minus a square plus c where c is the integral constant dear audience the sixth integral is integration dx whole divided by square root of x square plus a square equals ln of x plus square root of x square plus a square plus c similarly substituting x plus square root of x square plus a square by z we can prove it prove it now i am going to discuss on the seventh integral and here seventh integral is the integration of square root of a square minus x square dx equals x square root of a square minus x square whole divided by 2 plus a square whole divided by 2 sine inverse x by a plus c let x equals a sine theta then we get dx equals a cos theta d theta and theta equals sine inverse x by a substituting these we get square root of a square integration of a square minus x square dx here integration sign is missing please put the integration sign here then we get integration of square root of a square minus a square sine square theta a cos theta d theta then after calculation we get a square integration of a integration of cos square theta d theta and we put 2 before cos square theta and to balance it we also put 2 below the a square then 2 cos square theta can be written as 1 plus cos 2 theta then this in then this expression is equal to a square divided by 2 integration of 1 plus cos 2 theta then the integration of 1 
with respect to theta is theta and cos 2 theta is 2 sin 2 theta divided by 2 plus c where c is the integral constant now substituting theta by sin inverse x by a we can write a squared sin inverse x by a again sin 2 theta can be written as 2 sin theta cos theta then it becomes a squared by 2 sin theta cos theta and putting sin theta that means uh, if we substitute theta by sin inverse x by a then it becomes only theta that means uh, x by a and cos theta can be written as 1 minus sin square theta now substituting the sin uh, sorry theta by sin inverse x sin inverse x by a we find the a square sin inverse x by a plus a square by 2 x by a square root of 1 minus x square by a square plus c where c is the integral constant and after calculation we get x square root of a square minus x square whole divided by 2 plus a square divided by 2 sine inverse x by a plus c similarly we can write integration of a square minus x square dx equals x times of square root of a square minus x square whole divided by 2 plus a square divided by 2 sine inverse x by a plus c dear audience i hope that you could understand the today's lesson and pausing this video try to understand the tricky um, tricky places and again i will come along with a new video tutorial till then goodbye